There is an external side where, hey, you got to work on yourself. That's the authenticity part. But then you have to also work on the connecting to others part. You want to connect to others? You better know how to read others, how to read them emotionally, how to put yourself in their shoes. It's called empathy, advanced empathy, and how to know exactly what would make sense, what wouldn't make sense, what would connect, what wouldn't, and calibrate to them. The only way you're going to develop this feel is by talking to a lot of people and knowing exactly what to look for and recognizing the different patterns between all of those people. So keep that in mind. You want to get good talking to people? Talk to a lot of people. Take charge of your social life and talk to more people than you naturally should. Say you were to talk to 30 people a day. Time passes, guess what? That's a lot of experience under your belt. But, as I mentioned, that will be on the connecting side. On the expression authenticity side, that is work that you will have to do on the inside. Because it's the foundation. Meaning, if you go out and you're anxious and you're scared and you start pretending to be someone that you're not, you start putting on this front, you start trying to act confident or act fake, well then guess what? Will those references help? No, because they will all be coming from the front, not you. Even in terms of seeing what clicks or not, you're not going to know authentically if you click and with who. Even in terms of getting good references, it's not you who's getting validated, but the front. So it will actually hurt your self-esteem and hurt your confidence. It's going to keep saying, I am only liked when I'm pretending to be this versus I'm liked for me. So you'll have to learn how to crack open that front, tap into the real you you've been disconnected from a very long time. This is also why advice like be yourself is very accurate, but most people don't know how to be themselves. Who you think yourself is isn't really you. It's the front that you've put on and been the majority of your life. So letting go internally, unleashing authenticity, and then from there getting a lot of reference experiences. At a most basic level, you can break down social skills as, okay, social skills. You have on one side 80% of what I call emotional skills. And on the other side, it's 20% of what I call analytical skills. Emotional skills, analytical skills. Emotional is everything that has to do with the vibe. Okay? For example, if you're someone who is very anxious, that's an emotional skill. If you're someone who gets stuck in your head, that's an emotional skill. If you run out of things to say, that's an emotional skill. If you can't have fun, that's an emotional skill. If you can't express your true self, that's an emotional skill. Analytical skill, as we talked about, this is the foundation. This you will develop through reference experiences, the right reference experiences. This will come down to, you could say, polishing that natural vibe. If you've ever heard the term social natural before, it's a thing. Someone who's gone through a certain conditioning, a certain life, and they just feel very comfortable socially. You might have some friends like that. No matter where you go, they can easily talk to people. Everyone just likes them, likes talking to them. They gravitate towards them. You know if that person comes out to a dinner or something, they're going to make it fun. Right? A social natural. That's the emotional skills. Emotional skills alone will get you to that point of being eh, social natural. You can kind of just be loose, be yourself. But then you do need, as we talked about, the analytical to make sure it connects with others and to even polish that expression of you. And this here, you could simplify it as content. Vibe, content. Big mistake people do is they try to work on the vibe, the emotional skills, using their analytical mind. No. That looks like, okay, I run out of things to say. What are some, if I analyze this and think, some ways I can uh, not run out of things to say? What are maybe some stories I can memorize or some, th some things I could fall back on, et cetera, et cetera? Terrible. That doesn't solve anything. 
What solves the emotional skills? One thing and one thing alone. It's two words. Letting go. Yes. <laughs> Letting go. Letting go is what gets you to become a social natural. All of you were born as social naturals. All of you. All of you were way less stifled as children as you, versus you here today. All of you were. This isn't something that's missing within you. It's something that you've buried inside. As you started growing up, you started getting a bit more worried. What do people think of me? Oh, is that how I sound? <laughs> no baby is, well, is that how I sound? No, no kid's thinking that. That comes later on. You started judging yourself. Trauma happened. And ultimately, you started disowning and hiding your true self and putting on this front that you've now basically become. Who am I? The front. And you've lost touch with authenticity. Letting go gets you back in touch with that. Letting go, guess what? Allows you to no longer get triggered. Social anxiety, that's you getting triggered. Until you identify why you get triggered, where that comes from, the original trauma, nothing's going to change. You can try to progressively desensitize yourself, which is sadly what most people do, and that'll give you some results, but it's not all the way, and it's not permanent. As soon as you stop doing your little challenges, you fall back. Letting go, that's the foundation, and it'll get you 80% of the way. It's actually the highest ROI thing you could do with talking to a lot of people.